What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to bind your FR Sky Tyrannus QX7 radio with an Emacs Tiny Hawk Tiny Whoop drone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be using the Tiny Hawk S, but this also works for the Tiny Hawk version one and the new Tiny Hawk two. The things that you're gonna need is obviously your FR Sky radio, you're gonna need your drone, also have a battery so you can power on your drone. And I would also suggest getting something like a small pair of tweezers or a small flathead screwdriver to be able to push the bind button on the drone when it comes time for that because it can get a little tricky if you're just trying to use your finger. All right, so let's dive right into it. First thing you're gonna do is power on your radio. Once it's powered on, what you're gonna wanna do is hit the three little buttons over here, which is the menu button. That's gonna get you into the model selection and we can use the jog wheel on the right side to scroll down to an open slot. I have open four here, so I'm just gonna click on the jog wheel. That's gonna allow me to restore or create a new model. We're just gonna create a new model. And we're gonna hit the page button and that's gonna get us into the model parameters. So this is gonna allow us to change the model name. Since I'm setting up a Emacs Tiny Hawk S, I'm just going to do Tiny S. So let me just scroll through this really quick. Clicking down the jog wheel to set each letter. And we're just gonna hit the exit button once. That's gonna back out into our setup menu so we can scroll down through this again. And we're gonna go all the way down to where we see the mode. So right here, we have our mode. It defaults to D16, but we're gonna wanna switch that over to D8. Click the jog wheel again. And now go down to receiver and to the BND button. This is gonna put it into bind mode. So once we push that button, it'll start making a noise so we'll know it's in bind mode. Then we can go over and grab the drone, our battery, and the tweezers or uh, flathead screwdriver, if that's what you're using. So now we'll just wanna put the battery in the drone. Just makes it a little bit easier instead of trying to hold all these separate parts. So push that in and then line up the contacts of the battery with the drone, but don't actually power it on. We just wanna get it in place so that it's easier to push together with one hand because the other hand's gonna be holding the flight control button or the bind button. So to find the bind button, you wanna look at the camera or the lens. It's on the bottom right side. So right under here, you can see there's a small whitish square with a black button on top of it. We're just gonna put our flathead screwdriver in there or our tweezers, make sure that button is pushed down and then go back to the battery and we can connect those contacts now. Now it's gonna boot up, go through its boot cycle, have a bunch of different LEDs on the back side here. Once it's booted up, you can obviously take off the bind button. And now as it's alternating back and forth between red and blue, that means that this is also in the bind mode. So we can go back to the controller and just push the joystick on the bind that will stop the bind mode. And then the light on our drone should go solid. Now, if we adjust our throttle, it's gonna change the LEDs on the drone. And that means we know that it is bound. So it should be solid when there's no throttle or anything up. And then we change the throttle it should be blinking like it is right now. Sometimes you might need to power cycle the drone as well, so just unplug it and then plug it back in, and then when it comes back up in the second time, it should be bound together, and you should be able to see that adjustment with the throttle. With some of the other drones, you might have different LED indicators for if it's in bind mode or if it's paired, so just pay attention to what your specific drone has for LEDs. I know the Emacs Tiny Hawk has a green and yellow one during the bind process, um, as well as the blue and red. But the process is gonna be exactly the same. You're gonna set up the controller the same way and you're gonna bind it the same way with the drone. So now we have our radio bound to our drone and we can tell because when we do that throttle, we're getting some LEDs indicators on the drone itself. Next thing we have to do is set up all the switches. And this is gonna be a little bit more intensive. We have to go into Betaflight in the software and actually program this radio to do exactly what we want it to with the drone. So that's gonna be in the next video. I'm gonna throw a link to it up here, as well as at the end. Check that video out when you're ready to go on to the next step. If this video helped you out, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Ask me any questions that you have in the comments down below. And if you wanna check out more videos on filmmaking and FPV gear, definitely subscribe to the channel because I have a bunch coming down the line. And I'll see you in the next one.